And here we have Leo Strong kicking off this week's episode of Genesis Professional Wrestling. Someone who came so close in the World Championship Tournament. And here he's got a fresh challenge for tonight's episode. And he's going to be taking on the debuting C.W. Davis, the alpha athlete. And we await his arrival to the ring. As our MC Alan Moore has just said, from Norfolk in Norwich, and trained by the legendary UK Pitbulls, Britain's heaviest tag team. And this is a man who is in tremendous shape, looking to make an impression here at Genesis Professional Wrestling. The sold out crowd here in Snodland are in for a treat tonight. CW Davis, although a newcomer to the wrestling scene over the past two or three years. Leo Strong still very inexperienced, but he's got the crowd on his side. He's already proved to be a fan favorite. Leo's ready, Davis is ready. We'll see who the better man is. What a great way to kick off today's episode. Episode six. Gen Pro TV. Just final instructions from our official. Our match is underway. The Alpha Athlete playing up to the crowd already. Popularity contest, it seems like. Here at Gem Pro Wrestling, we like to see newcomers coming through the door. Not just in our academy, of course, but all over the scene of British wrestling. And we've got very experienced athletes in our locker room as well, especially our head coach, John Moores, Chris Wilde, and of course, the reigning Genesis Professional Wrestling World Champion, The Damned. We are looking at the future of British wrestling right here, right now. And it seems like C.W. Davis is taking a walk. Wouldn't be great for your debut to lose by a count out. Breaking up the count already, I mean. Win by any means necessary, I suppose, but I'm sure Leo Strong would not want to take a count out victory. I mean, as great as shape as C.W. Davis is in, of course, Leo Strong is a tall lad, which we've seen before. Had some great matchups on previous episodes. So here we go. Let's see who's going to prevail. And it seems like Leo Strong is winning thus far. Sending Davis into the corner. Davis quickly retaliates. Davis looking to take his time here. He's in no rush to get this match over and done with. I'm sure that his trainers, the Pitbulls, will certainly be watching this one. He's one who certainly wants to make an impression. Shot to the ribs. Best way to keep someone like Leo strong is to keep him down on the mat. Try not to let him get to his feet. But he's paying too much attention to the crowd and showing off. And that's where Leo strong is going to capitalize. Vicious chops. And here we go. And a splash. He sends the alpha athlete reeling. But this time, Davis saw it coming and takes a walk outside. But this time, Leo Strong follows. Up close and personal with the Gem Pro Stars. Inches away from the front row seats there. And the action quickly goes back inside the squared circle. Go, 
And uh, early on into this matchup, looks like Leo Strong could be going for a suplex. Can he get him up? And he does the strength of this man. And he's shown it on many occasions. As it's two, and Davis with the shoulder up. I think Leo might have took just a little bit too long to go for that cover. Some hesitation there. And already signs of frustration. Maybe he's thinking back to the tournament. The fact that he couldn't get the job done, that he's not the first Gem Pro World Champion. And did you see that? C.W. Davis goes downstairs on Leo Strong, distracting the referee. And using the ropes as an advantage, choking out the referee's got the five count. Davis will be given a warning in the second one. He will be disqualified. I think he's just playing too much to the crowd. There we go, working the leg. Stomping the lower back of Leo Strong. Interesting, going for a sleeper. Choke the man out, go for submission. I mean, C.W. Davis is a strong athlete. He also has some uh, boxing experience as well. He's also been a bodybuilder. So he's certainly no pushover. And here's someone that I know the staff here are going to be keeping a very close eye on for future events, no doubt. And for future information on upcoming events and the wrestlers on our roster, we go to www.genesisprofessionalwrestling.com Leo Strong with the shoulder up and you can hear the crowd as I've said before Leo Strong one of the most popular young athletes on our roster but is it going to be enough to overcome the alpha athlete and another chop Sends him into the ropes. And a vicious clothesline. Caught strong right in the throat. And I don't think that Davis is going to get the victory like that, I'm afraid. Both men back to their feet. Davis sends Leo Strong into the corner. Could be going for an Irish whip, perhaps. And he does. Maybe go for a splash of his own. And a knee to the jaw. The speed of Davis gores him into the ribs. Back into the canvas. And... Right into the shoulders. And he needs to pin those shoulders down properly. Not the best pin I've seen. could be all over already kicks him square in the jaw in the corner but Leo Strong quickly back to his feet trying to fight off here we go elbows to the gut sending Davis no Davis reverses keeps hold of that wrist lovely takedown Davis should have hooked the leg Especially if you're in there with a bigger opponent. Back to work on that submission. Trying to wreck that shoulder and neck part of the body. But this crowd, they have every faith in Leo Strong. Elbows to the gut once again. Leo Strong trying to find a way to fight back. And he's prevailing thus far again into the road. Look at this, Davis. Oh, wait a minute. Sends him down to the canvas. Leo Strong is out of it. He again needs to keep hold of his opponent. Go for that cover. Both men are down. Here we are. There's a pin. Referee goes down. There's a two. Oh, and Davis just at the last second with the shoulder up contest we've seen 
to open episode six of Gem Pro TV. We've got some great graduates coming out of the academy, so keep your eye on future episodes. Leo Strong working his way, trying to use the ropes to get him back up. And here we go, right hand. Sends Davis into the corner. Needs to stay on him, and that's exactly why Davis up to the second row. It's the big man. Oh, going up to the top. A flying clothesline. Didn't see that coming. And that might be all she wrote. Davis hooks the leg. This only got a one count. Did not expect that. It was nowhere near a three. It was just about a one. The matchup we're seeing here, two heavyweights going at it. Also got other heavyweights on the roster as well, like the big bully Briggs. Of course, he's a big mouth of a little brother, Tommy, of course. But, uh, oh dear. Davis trying to inflict more punishment and have no effect to Leo Strong. Maybe Leo Strong has found a new lease of life and energy, and he floors C.W. Davis. And a chop sends the alpha athlete down again. And where's Leo going this time? She's sending it all up on the shoulders. Here we go. Could it be Kamikaze Clash time? And he goes up to the top rope. Don't waste any time. This could be a huge mistake by Leo Strong. Goes up to the second rope. And a splash. There's a one. There's a two. And again, C.W. Davis with the shoulder up. Took a little too long after that kamikaze crash to hit the frog splash from the second rope. He's calling for it again. I'm not so sure if this is a smart move. But we'll see. Taking too long. C.W. Davis is already getting up to his feet. He's talking, he's talking to the referee. But, oh, come on, you saw that. Using the referee. Sending the referee into the ropes. And now Davis, dangerous territories we have here. Both men going up to the top. Davis could be looking for, no, I thought he was going to go for a superplex. Up on the shoulders, look at the strength of the alpha athlete. A power slam. From the, well, I did not expect that. Incredible strength, and he's done it. The alpha athlete has the victory on his debut for Gem Pro Wrestling. That was impressive. Had him up on the shoulder. Drilled him with a power slam, very similar to Davey Boy Smith. Got the one, two, three. An impressive victory and debut for the alpha athlete, C.W. Davies.
Well, here he is, the young athlete, Eden. Very popular amongst the Snodland crowd. But I'm afraid, I think he's got his work cut out for him in this one. His opponent, the vampire ninja himself, Furio. Be interesting to see how long this contest actually goes. And I'm sure Furio will not be on his own either. I mean, Furio is likely to be outnumbered, but no offence, the backup that Eden has, I don't think it's going to be enough, but only time will tell. Listen to the reception though, he's getting a very respectful young man. Someone who our head coach John Moore speaks very highly of each and every time. And here we go, you hear that music. Just behind, of course, there's Callie Gray and, of course, Jaden Scar. Jaden Scar, the falling star wrestling champion. That's where all these three of these gentlemen originally associate themselves with. Very happy to have them here in uh, Genesis Professional Wrestling, but that does not mean that we uh, like their outlook on life, so to speak. Blink and you might miss Furio. The way how this man moves is incredible. Somebody to watch for the future again, not just C.W. Davis or Leo Strong for that matter. As I said earlier as well, we like to embrace the new talent of Genesis Pro Wrestling and we're seeing it right now, no matter how dark, how unique, how terrifying. You've got the talent, we want to see it here. Gem Pro TV. And Furio disrobing. And then this contest will be underway. If I had any advice for Eden, I would just stay focused. Don't take your eye off the opponent. And certainly keep your eyes for Jalen Scar and Callie Gray on the outside. Honestly, Full Furio is going to be outnumbered, but that is not the case. The bell is rung. This is going to be about speed in this contest. Don't forget as well, Furio has that martial arts background too. So one kick and it could all be over. And look at the speed, the speed I was telling you about. Eden quickly into a headlock, sending Furio into the ropes, shoulder barge, and Furio using all of his strength there. Into the ropes, here we go, Eden using his speed, which is what we're talking about, listen to the reception of the crowd based on this alone. Well, Furio saw it coming in a lovely drop kick. Exactly what he needs to do. Just down in and use his speed. Lovely swinging head scissors. Don't waste any time, Eden. Back elbow into the corner. Listen to this crowd. I mean, what a victory this would be for this young man. If he can pick up a victory over the Ninja Vampire Warrior. Wow, he certainly studied his opponent. Unbelievable agility. Hooking the leg too, it could be over no. Furio with the shoulder up. Unbelievable what we're seeing thus far. We're only just a few minutes into the match. Furio looks hurt already. Oh, there we go, saw him coming. 
might be time now to change strategy going into this. Try and keep it map based perhaps. Furio sends Eden to the outside. And just as expected, Cali Gray and Jaden Scar. Weakening the young lad. Now the referee did see that briefly. He should send them to the backstage area to be honest with you. There we are. Furio working on a nerf hold. Into the ropes. And a kick right to the back. Looks to look, there's a two. Even with the shoulder up. Looks like he could be going for a scoop slam. Plants him in the centre of the ring. Now, I feel like Furio might feel he's a bit embarrassed here, so he wants to unleash some punishment. I don't know if that was legally a pin, that like a chokehold from here. Into the ropes. Using the ropes to choke out the young man. Referee needs to get more authority in this contest. And here we go again, Caddy Gray and Jaden Scar. This is where Eden meets his companions at ringside to make sure that Caddy Gray and Jaden Scar stay well and truly out of this. And here we go. Going to make him humble. It could all be over if he was to pass out in this Cobra Clutch. Eden already finding the way out of it. Trying to fight back. Needs to breathe and calm down. Get that athleticism back. I do not like the way how this contest is going so far. And there we are, martial arts kick right into the gut of Eden. That's going to slow him right down. And I'm not, now that was a bit lower than that. Come on, referee. That was definitely, definitely not the gut. How Furio's not disqualified on that, I do not know. At the top. What could be going for? Could be top rope Hurricane Rana. Eden fights off. Here we go. Back elbow again into the corner. And a bulldog to Furio. Where's he found this energy from? Standing moonsault. That was incredible. Puts the legs. Vampire just kicked out the last second. That was so close to a three. Going up the top rope, could he go for a? I thought he could go for a top rope moonsault, perhaps. So going for here. Oh my goodness! Furio just rolls out of the way. Up on the shoulders. Downstairs. Very, very close. Going for a submission. Is he going for an STF? No. A beautiful figure four like manoeuvre, submission hold. Eden is actually nowhere near the road. Furio's going right in the centre of the ring. His teammates wearing him on. Keep your eye on Scar and Grey, and look at that, Eden manages to pull over to the ropes. He's refusing to break the hold. Come on, referee. And this contest does have a 10-minute time limit, and we are almost there. Someone needs to get the winning pin for submission. 
Furio. As he look at that, Eden lands on his feet, ducks a clothesline. Oh, look at that! Oh, Eden needs to come on, capitalise. He's got him in position, and a shooting star. That was unbelievable. Kicks out again. I thought that was it. He had Furio there in position beautifully. But it wasn't enough. Now wait. I can't see Furio from here. Jaden Scar and Caddy Gray have the referee distracted. Where's, where did Furio go? There he is. Eden better turn around, he's up there on the top rope. Telling the referee. I don't understand what... Oh, Nesda missed! It was a plan all along. And that martial arts kick to the back of the head. And I think that's all she wrote. It is indeed. Well scouted. Not the decision we wanted, but it's what we're getting. Unbelievable there. Honestly thought Eden had the victory after that standing shooting star. But it was the mist. And that kick right to the back of the head. And your winner is the Ninja Vampire, Furio.